Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the right way to create a grandchild menu within a child menu within a parent menu in this manner. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Menu is actually a topic that I've covered in the past already, but I think there are some other things that are worthwhile to explore within the menu command. So I decided to create a few more videos on this topic, including how you can customize the right click menu option within the auto key tray icon that you see here. So like I said, I did create two videos uh, talking about how to create menu and sub menu or child menu so if you don't know what a menu is and don't know how to create one you can go and watch those two first in order to learn the basics of menu but i'll just give you a quick recap of what a menu is using this sample menu script so menu is something useful if you have too many uh, hot keys on your keyboard and you fail to remember which ones are supposed to do what then you can use one single hotkey and create a menu which shows up by launching the hotkey. So here is a sample menu where you would have menu items. You could also have a parent menu which brings up child menu with child menu items like this. So you can categorize the actions based on how you want it. And these menu items upon clicking them, it will uh, launch the auto hotkey script or the inbuilt menu function within the menu script. So here is a script that uh, creates a banner on the bottom right corner, like in this banner that flashes. And if I click on it, it will go away. So it kind of serves like a reminder uh, to for you to do something. And this script, if you go to my website and search for custom, then you'll see custom trade tip using notify script is the very script that I've shown you just now. There are some other ones. So uh, insert text to insert standard text onto your active window or insert emoji. You can insert emojis in this menu uh, in this manner by uh, clicking on these emoji icons on the on the menu items that you have created. You can close all folders, Excel spreadsheets or Chrome windows as well by uh, clicking on this menu items as well. So you have so much freedom as to what you want to add to the menu and run what auto hotkey script or functions in this way instead of assigning a hotkey to each of these items. So that's how you basically use a menu. You can also bring up a sub menu of the parent menu uh, in under a context sensitive environment. So for example, I've got this insert text parent menu which contains a child menu that has these two options. If I just do a right click on any notepad window, then it will bring up that child menu, clicking upon which it will send the standard text like that. And you can also uh, create a GUI and within that GUI, if you do a right click, make it so that it shows up a GUI menu in this manner. So you can click on it to make GUI do certain things. So going back to our topic for today I'm going to I'm going to go through how to create a grandchild menu so a grandchild menu would be something that would be attached to a child menu which is then attached to a parent menu so let's get straight into it so we first have to create the parent menu I'm going to call this parent menu and the name of the menu or the visible name of the menu is going to be parent space menu and you're going to be seeing that when i launch the parent menu menu handler label which i'm going to create down here which doesn't do anything it requires um, a label to be attached even though the label might not have anything in it and then the next thing i'm going to do is to uh, create a child menu and add to the child menu child menu one and i'm gonna attach menu handler to it as well now let me go ahead and create maybe three child menus and then what i need to do after that is to build the grandchild menu so i'm going to go ahead and build the grandchild menu add grandchild one and then i'm also going to give it the menu handler label which doesn't do anything and that would be my first grandchild menu item 
let me go ahead and create three of them so i've got one parent which has three children which uh, one of which will have three grandchildren okay so the next step we have to do is we have to uh, attach the grandchild menu to one of these child menus so i'm going to pick uh so you first start off with the child menu and then go add child menu and i pick one of these ones so let me go ahead and pick uh, child two and then comma colon grand child menu in that way the grandchild menu will be attached to child menu two okay and then we have to attach the child menu to the parent menu and you have to do it this way otherwise it won't work so you have to attach the grandchild menu and child menu in this ma in this order otherwise it won't work so you go parent menu and then go child menu in order to attach the child menu to the parent menu child menu being this to the parent menu and then i'll just put a return and then create a hotkey and call this hotkey plus uh, button so that's going to be shift and the right mouse click the menu item i'm going to to bring up the menu i'm going to run menu parent menu show in here sorry about that if i go and rerun this script not the gui script but this test script 3 and go shift and right click then it will bring up the parent menu which is this one you see here and then if i hover my mouse cursor on it then i'll see the child menu items so the second one will have grandchildren like this so this is how you can create a grandchild menu and attach it to a child menu which then gets attached to the parent menu this is it for today's video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video And to bring up 